about the some conditions of the cervical spine. We will see cervical um, compressive myelopathy, spondylitic spondylitic myelopathy, facet joint dislocation, um, and the cervical radiculopathy. All right. Um, the, all, all these are more common when we have cervical spondylitic changes. These are seen as osteophyte formation and could be seen on a, a spine field, but the most accurate test is with the MRI. We will do the, do the MRI in patients with a lot of risk factors, so it is not clear. The cervical radiculopathy is the dislocation of one uh, of the vertebral discs, so it will depend on which is. So we have D5, D6, D7, D8, and D1. There will be motor weakness and sensory disturbance on the dermatome and myotome distribution, so depending on which vertebral body is. Um, is herniated, we will see the affection of each one of the of the of these roots. So the C5 is involved on in the abduction of the arm as well as on the flexion of the elbow. The C6 is involved on extend uh, flexion sorry flexion of the of the elbow elbow and flexion of the, uh, sorry, and extension of the wrist. C8 is involved on extension of the, of the wrist, fingers, and elbow, and C8 in finger flexion, and maybe, uh, maybe wrist flexion, wrist flexion, and C1 in abduction and adduction of the fingers. The dermatomal distribution is, you know, you have something like this. <laughs> you would have something like C8 will involve this part, this part, as well as C1. And I will have here C6 and C, C7. So I have the arm here, here the thumb. I have C5 on this part, C6 on, on this part, C6, C7 is the middle finger, C8, this is C8, and this is C1, and here will be the Achilles C2. So there will be the, the um, disturbance. So there will also be pain and radiation of the pain to the shoulder, plus one, whenever the signs on the cervical reticulopathy. The other association with cervical spondylitic changes is the cervical, um, or the compression, compression of, of the cervical spine, myelopathy. And here there is um, thickening of the lateral vertebral bodies, as well as of the posterior longitudinal ligament. In the posterior longitudinal ligament, remember here we have the vertebra. Uh, here I have the spinal process. Here is the vertebra. We have a anterior longitudinal um, ligament and the posterior longitudinal ligament. But this posterior longitudinal ligament is anterior to the spinal cord. So I'm talking about thickening of this um, ligament. And the thickening of this. Uh, would produce compression of the spinal cord and of the of the exiting of the nerves, so compression of the roots also. And here we are compressing the spinal canal. So these two conditions are associated with the changes on the cervical spine, and the other is the facet dislocation. This is the location usually unilateral, less common bilateral and this is when the patient has trauma or is falling from a significant distance but with the neck flexed. This, this is the clue. A trauma
trauma or if falling with the neck flex and then there will be the dislocation of one facet usually unilateral but could be bilateral and there will be presentation of upper motor neuron signs and lastly being the cervical cervical myelopathy this is abnormalities on the gait gait um, there will be upper motor neurons in the lower extremities and lower motor neuron signs on the on the upper extremities so yes you can remember most of the time these conditions are like the other way around like upper motor neuron on the lower extremities and lower motor neuron sign on the upper extremities that's more like below the level of the lesion is upper motor neuron signs like hyperreflexia or spastic paralysis and at the level of the lesion is the lower motor neuron sign because we are hitting the body of the lower motor neuron so that would be a reflexia um, hypotonia nervous fasciculation etc and so the patient will have gait abnormalities the case reflexes and the pain on the neck so these are some cervical spine conditions now in the next um, next video we will see the quickly comparison of neck pain and other causes of neck pain